A barrage of gunfire erupted on 14 of February in downtown Kansas City, Missouri, near an outdoor celebration of the NFL champion Chiefs Super Bowl victory, killing at least one person and wounding over 29 others as throngs of fans scurried for safety. Police Chief Stacy Graves told a news conference three people were detained and under investigation in connection with the bloodshed near the city's landmark Union Station. After a confetti-strewn parade, Graves said investigators had no known motive for the gun violence. Eleven of those hurt by gunfire or the ensuing chaos were children as young as six. At least 29 people were struck by gunfire, one of them fatally, authorities said. Local radio station KK5 identified the slain victim as Lisa Lopez, one of its disc jockeys and host of the show, Taste of Tejano. Fifteen victims suffered life-threatening wounds. Fire Department Chief Ross Grundison said Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas said the prevalence of firearms and gun violence in the United States made it difficult to provide complete security for any public event, even with several hundred law enforcement officers on patrol for the Chief's victory parade and rally. Hours after the violence, the precise circumstances remained unclear and authorities were still determining the full extent of casualties and age range of the victims. Children's Mercy Kansas City treated a dozen people from the incident, 11 of them children aged 6 to 15. Nine of the 12 patients were gunshot victims, a hospital spokesperson said. Graves said she was aware of reports that some fans may have participated in the pursuit and capture of at least one of the suspects and investigators were reviewing video of the incident. Some 800 law enforcement officers were at the rally and parade that preceded it, including agents of the FBI and the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. All of the Chiefs players, coaches and staff who attended the victory rally were accounted for and safe, the National Football League team said in a statement. The blast of gunshots fired outside near a garage by the station came at the end of the victory rally following a parade. According to police, video posted on social media showed pandemonium outside the station with dozens of uniformed police officers, weapons drawn, running into the building as scores of bystanders fled in the opposite direction. Rapid-fire gunfire was audible in footage posted online. The violence took place on the sixth anniversary of one of the most notorious mass shootings in recent U.S. history, when 17 people were killed and 17 more were injured at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. The shooter in that incident, a former student who was 19 at the time, pleaded guilty and was sentenced to life in prison.